going on guys welcome rabbit here and bam we got a brand new al0 here courtesy of yes mining who also has a shirt in here so that's pretty freaking sweet obviously guys there will be a link down in the description to yes mining al0 boxes for a lithium radiant a6 everything you need for asic mining is available at yes mining but today we're going to be setting this up and overclocking it because it's brand new so hopefully everything should work good here but overclocking firmware is now available for the al0 now it is pretty sweet that they sent me a North American plug here because everyone else kept sending me European plugs and I was running out of cables because I had the power supplies but no proper plugs. I'm gonna have to order a bunch of these for a lot of the other miners. Good thing I have a whole bunch of dead KS zeros which are no longer profitable shut off. So I've been using those power supplies but this one I can actually put to use. All right, so there we can see AL0 ice river. This is the Alephium 400 giga hash 100 watt version. And again, it's recommended here to have a separate power supply that is higher this is a 180 watt power supply and a watt meter so you can track how much power you're actually using so let's jump into the firmware and tell you what it says all right so coming in here we can see 0.8.2 oc firmware for ice river al0 was just released five hours ago so changelog ice river al0 firmware building upon significant updates made to stock firmware over the past nine months for caspa models so notes Please read the documentation. Clock offsets are currently limited to values between negative 25 and plus 75. This firmware does not enforce these limits at this time, but the ASIC will crash if you attempt to go outside these bounds. Installation will take two plus minutes before the UI is available as the machine needs to generate TLS certifications for HTTPS support. Occasionally, clocks may not apply as expected. Simply pressing save again on the settings usually fixes this. On very rare occasions, OC can fail, resulting in extremely low clocks uh around 35 megahertz of a drop a reboot is required in this situation so disclaimers use with caution use of a power meter is highly recommended to monitor psu load so i'm going to download this thing and install it all right guys so i just fired up the brand new al0 and i'm simply going to go into firmware upgrade here select file and simply install that one we just downloaded so pb 0 a2 elf make sure it is the alephium version not the caspa version we're going to open that up and update. So we're going to do this. This is all on stock. It'd probably be recommended to do a fresh reset by holding down the button the first time. But this is brand new straight out of the box. So it should be factory reset by default. So we're just going to wait a few minutes for this to install. All right. So operation is succeeded. It should ask to restart it. Yes, it did. Confirm restart. Now we just got to wait for it to reboot. And it should have the latest firmware in it. Or I just bricked it. All right, so AL03 seems to be detected now, so that's all good. Let's jump into here and start some overclocking. Remember, it's gonna be very slow. You have to wait like five minutes at a time to see how this does adjust. So we're gonna come into our miner here and I'm gonna up this. Let's just go with 10%. We'll just see what that equals up to be. So that's 2%. Let's go 25, 4%. Ooh, I don't know if I wanna go too much. 30 is 5% increase, 35 uh all right let's do 45 i guess we're gonna go 45 i'm gonna add a bit of power here just to make sure something goes through so let's try 10 millivolts that's only a three percent i'm gonna go up about five percent in power everything does start to use quite a bit more power as you overclock so we're gonna go an extra 45 boost and a 15 and kind of see what happens so let's save that and we gotta wait for it to do its thing so okay if we come into our home here we should see a little spinning wheel. So yeah, right here we can see on the hashboard, this means it is slowly uh, upping the voltages and clock speeds that we just set. So we're gonna sit here and wait for a while and see what happens, as well as keeping an eye at the wall on our watt meter. All right, so that died. I'm only at like 9.8 watts at the wall. So it definitely needs more voltages now just to sustain that. So I'm gonna go to 25 and we're gonna try this again. So we're gonna save that. All right, so I was getting a lot of crashes and stuff, but it is looking like it's taking a lot longer to slowly apply those overclock settings. As I was adjusting up and up and everything in between here, I didn't see anything happening. The power was 
pretty much staying the same at the wall. And then all of a sudden, boom, everything started coming up. And we can see our chip clocks now has just slowly come up, which is normal. But, you know, it is taking a lot longer than what you're used to with Ice River. Coming into what I got right now is a 10% increase, which is 60 megahertz, and an 11% increase in power of 40 millivolts because it kept crashing constantly. So I kept moving up that power. So I'm just going to let it sit for a while and kind of see what it does. All right, guys, so I got to go to town and do some stuff here, but if this thing is being a huge pain for me. It doesn't really want to go past 400 for me. I see the power go upwards to, you know, 148 or something, but it's only doing 320 giga hash, which means I need more power. But then, I don't know, all sorts of stuff here. I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of tweaking here. So if you guys knew about this, uh, let me know what you guys are getting on yours. But right now, I dropped it back down to only 15, which is only a 2%, and a 20 millivolt, which is only a 5% increase. I'm just starting very small again, and then I'll try pumping it up. But yeah, it's see, it's taken a lot longer and you're going to need a lot of patience to get this one going so again thank you for checking out this video the oc firmware is available now but it's it's a lot harder to configure based on the Casper version so i'm probably just being dumb though and not doing it right but i'll definitely try to get some tweaking numbers later on but for now i'll see you on the next one rabbit out